All right, last page of review for test two, unit one. Um, this says, uh, this is, this is function notation. Okay. The name of this function is f. f of x equals the following and replace what is the result when the x is a 2. And then do it again for the result if x is negative 2. So step 1, put in um, substitute all the x's for the 2 for the first case. Orders of operations say you process that part first for the exponent, and you can do this one. This will be 9 minus 14 minus 6. So f of 2 equals whatever that equals. Um, oh, psh, no, it doesn't. What did I do wrong? Look at this right here. Sorry about that. That's 20. And then that is going to come out to... Sorry, I'm checking my key and I think there's something wrong with it here. 34 minus 6 is 28. So this would be 28. So the other one... What happens when you put a negative 2 in? So this is going to be 5 times. <coughs> Excuse me. Substitute. PEMDAS. Yeah, so when you put the negative in, the only difference is this little part right here. See how in this one it was a positive times a negative, so you got a negative. So this is two negatives together. And the square of 2 times 2 equals a positive 4. Negative 2 times a negative 2 also equals a positive 4. So the middle term is the only thing that changed signs. So... Hang on. So that's where I think I messed up on my key. So give me a second. Let me double check this stuff here. I know you probably, if it was in a class, you'd be telling me what I did wrong already. Give me a second to figure it out by myself. All right, this one over here wasn't 28. I think I just got the answers mixed up. 20 minus 14 minus 6 is 0, okay? But 20 plus 14 minus 6 is the 28. I just put the answers, I think, in the wrong place. Okay, so that one's this one, and this one's this one, okay? Let me make sure that I do that on my key. Give me a second, sorry. All right, and then domain and range of the relation below. So it's a function because what? Because all of the x's are different, so we don't have to worry about them going to two different y's. So that's a function, and the domain is always the first one, so everything I underlined. Okay, the range is all the y's. It's not going to be, you know, I, I think it's preferred to keep it in order. It makes it easier for your teacher to check that you have everything. So there's a negative 6. There is a 4. In fact, there's two 4s, and you only want to write that once, though. Okay? It's either in the set or it's not in the set. So you don't need to repeat it. And you're allowed to have repeating Ys. That's not a problem and still be a function. 6, 8. Okay, that's all there is to that one. 
and the domain and range of the function of the graph below. All right, first thing I like to do is find the ordered pair. So this is negative 4, 2. Um, this one is 3, negative 2. And right here, even though there's not a dot, it hits there and bounces. So I need to know that that's 0, negative 4. All right, because the domain is how far this way and how far this way you go. All right, for the x's. So we went all the way to negative 4, right, for the domain. And we went all the way to positive 3 for the x's, on the x-axis, okay? For the range, that's the y-axis, right? This is the x, that's the y. So for the y, how far down did we go? We went down to negative 4, okay? That's this negative 4, right? And then how far did we go up? We only went up to a 2. That needs to be fixed on the key, too, okay? That's just a coincidence. They're both negative 4s. Um, describe the road vein and range using interval notation. So x's, if you can picture, this line goes on forever, so it'll go this way forever, and it'll go all the way this way, so it'll go this way forever. See how it keeps going that way? So the domain, so the x's go infinitely low and infinitely high, and the range, well, if it gets going up forever, it'll continue to go up forever, and it'll continue to go down forever. So if it goes down forever, and then up forever, as far as the y's go, then it's actually the same thing. Okay, that's it.